After the game 1 victory, this is how the bracket is looking like. Unfortunately, there was a bug with game 2. I didn't even realize it until I tried to put the video. I was able to get a screenshot. The game was very close, as you can see, 74 to 74, but we lost. So we're heading into Brooklyn with a 1 1 series. This conference finals is the best out of five, so it's tied. It's the best out of three, technically. So whoever wins the next two games will advance to the finals. That game two loss is really tough because it was close. And it was pretty much similar to game one, basically. <laughs> so those are heartbreakers. So this game is going to be crucial. Drew Holiday with a nice drive. And we're going to run a screen and roll. CP3 to drive of his own. So this first quarter was really a defensive battle. As you can see, the score is only 4-6 to six after about 5 minutes of play. Like I said earlier, the playoffs is grinding. A lot of great defensive sequences, a lot of missed shots like this one right here. But we get the offensive rebound and putback. So he's going to drive it in the paint with Klay Thompson. We tip the pass. Great defense on this sequence. Buddy Heal is going to go for the dunk. And sorry if I'm extra hyped because I'm listening to some pop smoke on my headphones while I'm trying to talk over this comment, <laughs> over this video. He pops a three, he misses, lucky for us. Bounce pass to PG, back to CP3. That's some nice ball movement right there, CP with the green bean. In this first quarter, my plan was to get Buddy healed going, but it wasn't working too well. As you can see, Buddy misses a shot right here. Wide open midi that he usually makes. He's going to go all the way with Covington and pull up for three and greens it. So now he takes a three-point lead after our miss. Paul George tries to drive it into the paint. Tough layup right here. That should have been an and one, I think. There's about one minute left in this first quarter. We're going to pass the ball around, and Paul George is going to drive it into the paint. Nice dunk right there. We end up tying, or almost tying the basketball games. Only a two-point lead. CP3 drives on D'Lo. Nice layup in the paint. Tie basketball game now. So heading into the second quarter is going to be all D'Lo. And his point guard's attacking me. As you can see there, he does a 1-4 or 4-1 out pick and roll. He gets a steal. Dilo's going to go all the way. I didn't expect that double team, so that was a nice double team on his end. So now he's taking the lead in the second quarter. Buddy healed off the screen. He misses again. So this was a rough second quarter so far. I'm going to pass it to Buddy on the wing. And watch as I drive. Dilo gets some weird animation there. I don't know how he gets all these animations on defense. Dilo was like putting his arm and... <laughs> Buddy Heald's leg was like awkwardly placed. So he does it again. D'Lo gets a three. That four out, one in pick and roll is so deadly. It feels like the park because it's two versus two. And then when he sets the screen, the computer doesn't know what to do. Look, again, the computer is so dumb. Wide open lane. So every time he does this, it's almost a bucket 99% of the time. So it's very tough to guard that type of play. CP3, the green three. After doing some subs. So it's only a three-point game. Buddy Heald is going to end up making this deep three right here, which is crazy because you've seen all the shots have been missing. They're way easier than this. So this game is crazy. I don't understand how it works sometimes. Brogdon with the drive. I find it bridges in the paint, and we get the dunk. Again, he's going to set the screen, but he doesn't actually set the screen. So we have an opportunity to actually get a stop, which was rare because in this game, Every time he did that play, it was almost impossible to stop. So we get a layup in here. Because his defensive settings, I think he didn't want to help off of anybody. So every time I drive in the paint, nobody helps. It was a wide open lane. And he does that 4-1 out screen again. He misses the layup. And this type of steal, I don't really like this. It's so... <laughs> Man, that's the my career type of steal. Like, you just just square in the backcourt and you're getting a steal. That's really annoying. That's not realistic. Paul George with the mid-range green beam. So it's a one-point game despite everything that's happening. Drew Holiday with the four-out, one-in screen again, but he misses the layup. So we're going to push the basketball. Brogdon's going to go all the way, and he gets the dunk. And we end up taking the lead with a minute left. He's going to run that screen again. Drew Holiday back to Clay. He does a sidestep. Back out. Backed out again. He's going to run a fake screen for Covington. As you can see... It's really tough to guard. I can't even explain it. You go in, you go out, you go in, you go out, you go in, you go out until he gets a layup. You know what I mean? That's basically, look, he's doing it again. 4-1-1-A. One, one <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm just taking advantage of the dumb computer. Look at this. He does it again. The computer doesn't know what to do. It's really annoying. <laughs> again, we're going to try to run our own play, but he brings a double. Nice double team on his part. He brings the help. Paul George is wide open in the three. And we knock it down. Huge shot to go into the second half. Chris Paul wide open mid-range. Miss. My release was late. I don't know how because that's a shot I usually make every single time. And CP3 has a 98 mid. So <laughs> it's really tough missing those shots. I'm going to drive it into paint on Drew. Left-handed layup with CP. This specific play again shows how dumb the CPU AI is. Look, he drives it into paint. Nobody decides to help. They're just watching him. He gets a free basket in the paint. So Chris Paul, look at his defender. It helps. But when it's my turn, my defenders don't help at all. Clay Thompson at least jumped and try to block it but <laughs> on the previous possession nobody did so Paul George is trying to drive it inside plays great defense with Clay Buddy Heel bails us out with a green release so that was a big shot because he was getting momentum and again we're gonna try to run a nice screen right here Buddy Heel back to back green releases back to a tie game Drew Holiday gets into the paint nobody helps again my computer is really dumb, this guy. I don't know what's going on. In the regular season, they know what to do. Nobody helps again in this drive. Wide open lane, wide open dunks all game long. Buddy Heal, oh my goodness. He makes the contested midi but misses the wide open one. So I don't know what he's doing. Drew Holiday again into the paint. Again, like I'm saying, no help at all. Watch, when I try to drive, his help defenders are there. So Buddy Heal with another green bean in the corner. It's coming up clutch in the third. Again, Drew Holiday gets into the paint. No help at all. Just rim runs all day with Drew. We're going to try to run a nice cut play right here. Nice dive in the paint. And one layup. That was a big bucket. He's going to run it again. That screen is unstoppable. Iguodala into the paint. I'm telling you, it's unstoppable. Drew Holiday with a rim run again, no help defenders, easy basket in the paint. So we're going to try to post up right here. I'm going to spin off with about 15 seconds left to go and we get the basket inside. Drew Holiday has takeover to start the fourth. Drew Holiday is known for his defense and in this game he has takeover based off of his offense. So you know that's how crazy the drives were in this game, how much times he was getting into the paint. CP3 with the cross, Jordan Clarkson <laughs> gets his ankles taken away. Looked silly right there. Drew Holiday's taking over this basketball game like, I don't know, like Derrick Rose or someone else, like an aggressive point guard. Corner three, brick. So this fourth quarter, there's a lot of turn of events. Drew Holiday to the corner, he greens the three. So that was a big sequence. We missed a wide and he made his three. So Drew drives again into the paint, unstoppable. We had to call a timeout. Paul George with the pump fake. I'm gonna drive into the paint. It's back to a six point game. That should have been a steal. And you already know what play is gonna run. It's gonna run the screen again with D'Lo. He's gonna get into the paint. Like I said, this is very hard to stop or almost unstoppable. I'm gonna run a screen for Derek White. He hits a three. And now it's back to a five point game. But this play will cost me huge. Wide open with Paul George. I don't know why he passed it. I pressed the wrong button by accident. And then he's gonna capitalize with a three. So my missed wide open three with Mikhail Bridges and that pass that was supposed to be a shot ended up in six points for him. So that was huge. And then obviously we're gonna get an offensive charge here. I run this play all season long and I never got a charge, but of course in the playoffs, that's offensive foul. Clarkson with the pull up, DeAndre Jordan is a god for some reason. <laughs> he gets all the offensive rebounds in this game. He's playing like the LA Clippers, DeAndre Jordan, Lob City. D'Lo with the pick and fade, it doesn't work, so obviously he's going to try to run it again and he gets a charge, luckily for us, so that was a huge stop. Double screen for CP, I'll try to do a standing three, but he fades away. And again, that's a play I run throughout the season, and I always get a standing three-point shot. But on that play, he was fading away. I did not want to do that. So CP3 back to Jay Crowder. He ends up getting fouled, so we get three shots at the line. We missed the first one. 
I never shot free throws with Jay Crowder, I think. So I'm going to miss up the second one as well. Oh my goodness. Look at the percentage. 63-64%. At least we knocked down the third. But those two misses is really crucial. Especially with three minutes to go. D'Angelo with the curry slide pull up. We get another opportunity right here. CP3 with the cross. I'm going to wait for the offense to settle down a little bit. Pass it back out to PG. Back to CP. Wide open triple. And it doesn't go in. <laughs> so throughout the season, these shots always go in. But they're missing in this crucial game. D'Angelo takes advantage. Nice crossover. This should have been a triple in the corner. But obviously, it bounces off the computer somehow. Usually, these passes are always smooth. I don't know what's happening in this game. Everything's going wrong for our team. CP3 is going to go to the corner. I mean, Clay Thompson. He knocks down a triple in front of Jonathan Isaac's face. My AI defense is finally going to decide to help on this play, but it's a little too little, I mean, <laughs> too little too late. Because throughout the game, they didn't help at all. They just decided to help at the end. I don't know, maybe they went to the Magic City with Lou Will. I don't know what's going on with their head. <laughs> but with a lot of missed opportunities, a lot of missed shots, free throws, you guys watched the game. And he took advantage of his point guards, a lot of rim running and that 4-1 out in, 4 out 1 in. Very tough to stop. So we're down 2-1. to one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe. And also follow